Hello everybody. In this video, we're going to blink this LED and this LED using Kale and Cube MX. Let's get started with it. We do this board first. This side of USB, we plug into the computer and install the Kale software. To download the Kale software, uh, go to kale.com, click download. And click MDK arm. Fill in these details. Click submit and you can click this one to download. I have already downloaded, so I go to folder and uh, Double click this one. Yes. Next. Accept. Next. Next. Fill up, fill these details and click next. Installed. Untick this one. Click finish. Now it's installed. Now it can be mini minimized. Uh, you get the pack installer. I need to go to STM32. ST microelectronics and uh, STM32 F1 series and F4 series I'm going to install double click this one double click for blue pill it's uh, F1 0 3 this one and C8 this is the one and then this one is selected click install now it's up to date the 103c8 is up to date now we go to nucleo f4 STM32 F4 series, you right click, it sets F446, this is the nuclear one, and F446 RE, this is the one, you double click this one, that is the one F446 RE key, now we click this one to install. Now this one also up to date. These are the two uh, things uh, needed for these two boards. Whatever, whenever need, you need for different board, you can install like this. I will close it and I will show you how to get this one later on. So, so the key is here. We open. So you can maximize. When you want to install different pack. You can click this one, this button. So I will close it. Now there's nothing here. We can create a new project, but uh, we do the uh, we use the cube MX to generate the uh, project. So we close it and we download the uh, cube MX. To install the Cube MX, we follow the recommended procedure by the Kyle, and uh, they have given in their website. This is the notes for installing Cube MX. Uh, I give that this one in the link in the description below. Uh, we go to the page number three. This is how they ask to set up. Uh, we need the Cube IDE already installed. If you don't have installed, 
I have made a separate video how to install Cube ID. It's available here. And the Cube ID, we go to this place and we see this repository. And we use the same repository for Cube MX. So I go to Cube ID, go to Window, Preferences, STM32 Cube, and Firmware Updater. This is the one I have. I'm going to use the same one for Cube MX. Now we go to uh, Browser and uh, download the uh, Cube MX. So we type STM32 Cube MX. Enter uh, the first one. This is the one we need to download. We get software and uh, get the latest one already downloaded. I go to the uh, folder, download folder. This is the one and uh, extract all. Extract. Double click this one, double click this one. Uh, this is the one recommended. I click this and uh, click next, uh, accept, next, click this one, next, next, okay, next. The cube MX is also installed. Let's go there and uh, open the cube MX. We maximize this. Now we go and see the installer procedure. Uh, this file and uh, we go below. They ask to install the cube MX. And then help update a setting. We go there. Help update a setting. This is in the cube MX. And uh, see, this is the same repository. If it is not the same, we we'll change this one and click OK. Uh, what else they say? We go below. That's the page. And uh, in the cube ID also, when you go to cube ID, we say have this symbol in in the site. So we go to cube ID that's also came here. Uh, what else there? Uh, go below and uh, they asked to when the tool chain when they when we create the project we put this one and uh, and then click open project. That's all they say. So we generate a uh, file and see. So we go to cube MX. Now we create a project for the nuclear board. Click the access MC selector. Now part number F446RE. This one. And start project. Click system code, sys for the debug, serial wire, and uh, zoom in. I make pin PA5 as a GPIO output. That's all the setting. You can generate code. Uh, name I give uh, blink1. Uh, all good, and this one MDK arm and generate code. Uh, yes, it's only for the first time. Uh, if you have an account with the ST link, sorry, ST micro electronic, you can log in. Otherwise, uh, it's free to open an account for new new person. You can cl click here and create an account. I have an account already, so I'm going to put my details. Click and pin. 
lui. Click Open Project. The pro project is ready. Now we click uh, this one application core. Open the main.c file and we go below for the while loop. Here we blink the LED. I'll That's all the code. We can click save. And we save all. And uh, this button to build. Uh, there's an error. Uh, so what we need to do is we click this one. And for the compiler, we select the latest version. Okay. Now the error is here. Now we can build again this button. done now this button load button all done I have uploaded the code the LED is blinking now we change it to the other board now we connect the ST link to the STM32 like this and then we plug this one into the computer and uh, open the cube mx again now we close everything and start from the beginning let's start again uh, access to empty selector uh, commercial part number f103 c8 this one, this is for the blue pin. Uh, click start project. Click system core. Sys for the debug, select serial wire. And we zoom in. And for the pin PC13, GPIO output. Uh, that's all. Uh, now we click project manager. Your name, I put F103. And this one, MDK arm. And uh, generate code. open project and uh, we open the main.c file and go to the while loop here we bring the pin pc13 uh, hal we can click save now maybe save all and uh, click this one like the latest version ok and uh, click the build button see for any errors all good now we click the load button to upload the code uh, maybe no. uh, all done the code is uploaded the LED is blinking Thank you very much for watching. If you have any question, write down in the comment section below. I try to answer as much as I can. Thank you. Bye.